If you have a talent in Burkina Faso, I'm telling you, it can never go to waste. That talent can never go to waste. Because Ibrahim Traore will do everything possible to actually create a platform where you can showcase your talent. Yes. Now, we are talking about this digital week in Burkina Faso. And <laughs> this, ro this robot was being made. And a lot of people were laughing. I'm like, why are these people laughing? This is the same thing that happened to China. When China started... Uh, bringing out their own phones a lot of people will be laughing because they know just about because back then they knew just about united states and other states um uh, or uh, 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 manufacturing phones but when uh china actually brought out its own, own phone when you ask somebody which phone are you using their phone is from china they'll start laughing but today do you hear of those people again no do you hear of those nations again it's all about china it's all about china so the same way you guys are laughing Burkina Faso, saying oh this and that you're just it's it's funny i know it's actually fun like oh my god so an african country can actually uh make this robot a lot of people were laughing why the robot now my first see this robot here you can see this robot here right here it was being assembled by the Burkina base yes it was being assembled by the Burkina base now a lot of people said it was manufactured in Burkina Faso I would like to say no from the research I did it was not really manufactured so it's already a robot they actually uh, uh, dismantle it and then they assemble it again to see if they can actually do it and if they can do that I mean if they can actually they take students are doing wonders if they can actually do that it therefore means that with time they will start manufacturing their own and ibrahim chari when he got in power he actually said this now a lot of you and especially to the students he made it clear to the students that a lot of you i mean you are you, you you want to gain education you want to go to school but let me tell you most of the things you are learning about today you are reading about today you want to do or you're learning how to do today it was all they were all manufactured by people who were not educated at all yes am i saying education is not good no that's exactly what ibrahim Shari said he's not saying education he said he wasn't saying that education was not good he was simply saying that just imagine people who were not educated manufactured this thing they created this thing i mean they were so creative in bringing out such things that you now you're going to school in order to study the things that people who are illiterate let's put it that way because if you're, if you're not educated you're an illiterate right uh studying the things that are illiterate actually are created or manufactured it therefore means that you that you now have uh education you can do wonders you can do wonders so just don't just limit yourself in the classroom try to learn something is it hairdressing is it tailoring is it i mean just try do your best to just learn something because if illiterates can actually do it then you that you're educated therefore means you can do it so this robotic week my people a lot of things happen now i will talk about this robot and i'll talk about this drone that uh it, it actually was a wonder that. like it wants to reduce the time of any crime investigation from two hours to 15 minutes now let's go with this robot now looking at this robot lovely people you will actually see that it, it booking a base try because they assembled this your robot and it was able to walk it was able to greet people and it was even able to serve people and people were like oh my god this is wonders this is wonders i mean booking a base were so so excited the people were excited the ministers were excited the leaders i mean all the leaders in the government they were really really excited to know that this the booking a base citizen could actually come out with something like this they could actually come out with something like this they could assemble Assemble something like this. I mean, this therefore means in less than no time they will actually be manufacturing their own robot. And you know, robots in 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 China or in yeah, in China we could see robots serving people in restaurants. Yeah, we could see robot opening doors for people to get into a shop, get to um, into a restaurant, get into this malls. I mean, we could see robot literally doing a lot of things, serving people in occasions, marriages, birthdays, graduations, just name it. Robots could literally they do that these are things that were being done only by humans but today you see robots doing that and that is exactly what ibrahim Chari wants he, he says that this thing that we go out there buying buying this buying that no these are things that we can actually make locally and also ibrahim Chari is actually banned he doesn't want to hear any minister saying that oh want to come want to buy tables from abroad want to buy this from abroad want to buy this no any furniture any 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 thing furniture nature 
Ibrahim Chari doesn't want it. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no way that a minister will actually write, I mean, down list of things, give out a budget of how they want to manufacture things out of the country when it concerns furniture. No, we have carpenters in our, our local carpenters who can actually do all of this. Is it table? Is it chair? What kind of chair do you need? Just specify, just state it. Ibrahim Chari said his people can do it, the citizens can do it with their support. And now my people, so ministers no 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 no. we can't bring out a budget that has to do with certain things that we can do it in our own country ibrahim charu wouldn't accept that and they have learned that oh we can't do this and they will never even bring a list concerning that and now my people this robot is not just going about greeting people serving people working it's also putting on the uh, dresses that were manufactured in burkina faso it also Put, it's also putting on dresses that were actually made in Burkina Faso. Yeah, it's putting on dresses that were actually made in Burkina Faso by designers, by Burkina-based designers. I'm like, wow, this is so, so great. You know, even in when um, the Waka Mall was being created, Burkina Faso uh, President Ibrahim Chari made sure that every worker in there should put on the locally made dresses yes they should put on dresses made by their own people they should not go out there and start putting on office wear putting on these no 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 no. they can actually create make those office wears in Burkina Faso and that is exactly what Ibrahim Trari emphasized on and the worker more workers they knew that oh this is a no 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 we must put on only what is made in our own country and they respected that they were putting it on now my people we are talking about this drone and you know what what is this drone meant for now it's a test drone now they actually made it in order to see how they can reduce the investigate crime investigation as from about two hours you know when an accident or a crime scene or i mean something happens and need the attention of the police by the time they alert the police and they are uh, to arrive there my people it must have taken like two to three hours yeah it must have taken like two to three hours and no Burkina Faso does not want that they want something that when it happens like that it should just immediate investigation should take on so they made this text drone and according to them they want that it should actually reduce the investigation hours from two two hours to 15 minutes now when how does it work when a, a crime or an accident or whatsoever happened that needs the attentions of the police what they do is they will quickly send this drone and you will go there and start capturing whatever is happening around that um and that incident they will capture the 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 evidence they, they will bring out evidence that oh this is what happened at this time this is what happened these are the number of people that are being involved before the police arrive they want something that before the police arrive because the police will obviously take so much time before they arrive there so before the police arrive they must have gathered those evidence just in about 10 to 15 minutes and then hand it over to the police and they will be able to do more investigations on that yeah without missing out any evidence yeah without missing out any evidence just take for example like a crime scene or maybe a, a, a um robbers rob, rob the bank right maybe robbers rob, rob the bank and by the time they alert the police and they are coming you know maybe some of them will escape some of them will um uh, who would have killed some people in the maybe in a bank and so this drone is actually made so that they can actually capture those who were there the the criminals who were involved what the the the, the operation was all about the amount of money they stole the guns they were holding or uh, maybe they were using a bike a car whatsoever now this drone must have collected all of this information and then hand it over to the police by the time they arrive just within a space of 10 to 15 minutes you get so they do not want a situation where by the time the police arrive some evidences are missing no they do not want that uh case that's why they do everything possible to ensure that okay by the time the police uh, uh, arrive this drone must have captured all of this evidence even if the, the, the criminals run away they'll be able to pick out their faces they'll be able to know the number of people who are involved they'll be able to have some evidences that can actually help fasten the process okay so i mean this is actually incredible this is good news for burkina faso i mean a lot of crimes happening in other countries and before the police arrive these people must have killed some people ran away with money I mean carry out a lot of destruction but with this drone it's going to help a lot because the police will actually get 
evidence all right the police will actually get evidence of whatsoever that was happening so i think this is actually a great thing ibrahim chari is not sleeping at all when it comes to development when it comes to testing things ibrahim chari is ensuring that we don't go about um these are things that even if we have we should have in our country we we'll need to go to france we we'll need to go to united states we we'll need to go to other continents in order to get it okay but ibrahim chari doesn't want that he wanted it should be done in our own country it should be made in our country it should be manufactured in our country i mean if they can do it we can do it they don't have two heads right some people feel like oh because we are blacks we can't do it if is saying that no 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 cancel that mindset it is not true we are all humans and we are all blessed with different different talents so if you have talents in Burkina Faso do not worry if is there to create a platform because he said most Burkina Bay they are really really talented but they lack the platform to showcase their talents that's why he is there to ensure that that uh, platform is there for each and everyone to showcase their talent let me do get your opinion at the comment section thank you so much for watching my book do not forget to subscribe like comment and share and please do have a nice day